calculus, find the value of k in this integral. We had on a recent test this problem. I think it was problem number six. If the integral from 0 to 2 of this expression here, 2x cubed minus kx squared plus 2k dx equals 12, then k must be, and you have some multiple choice options. One strategy would be to go ahead and replace k with these numbers until we get this solution here. But I'm going to try to go about a more efficient way of doing this. And so what we have is a composition of two types of integrals here. You have an integral of something where you can find pretty easily, and then the integral of this, this quantity with the, the k unknown involved. And so we can kind of separate these and figure out what's going on. So therefore, the integral from 0 to 2 of, we'll say, 2x cubed dx, we can find this out. And when we find this part out, we're going to be able to figure out what's going on in the rest of this more efficiently, I hope. So here we have 2, and the integral of x cubed is x to the fourth divided by 4, and we're going to evaluate that between x equals 0 and 2. And so this is going to equal 1 half. We're going to have 2 to the fourth power, and we're going to have minus 0, because we, we plug this in. So that's going to be equal to 16 over 2 is equal to 8. So therefore, since we know that this part is 8, we know that the remaining portion, this integral from 0 to 2 of negative kx squared plus 2k dx is going to have to equal what is left over, which would be 4. And so now we can go about solving an equation for the integral once we have this. So working below, integrating, we're going to take this negative k, and we're going to have x cubed over 3 plus 2 k x and we're just going to be dividing by 1 right we just to the first power we know that this is going to be being evaluated from 0 to 2 equal to 4 and continuing to work below what we're going to have is plugging in 2 we're going to have negative k 2 cubed over 3 plus 2k times 2. And we would subtract out minus 0, plugging in for x, would be equal to 4. So we can just go ahead and factor out a k from this thing. So we would have k times negative, and this is going to be 8 thirds, plus 4k. But remember we factored out k? We're just going to say plus 4. is equal to 4. And so I'm going to work to the right. k times, 
we're going to have negative eight thirds. And how many thirds do we have in four? 12 thirds is equal to four. And continuing to work to the right, negative eight thirds plus 12 thirds, that's going to be K times four thirds is equal to four. And then we can multiply by our reciprocal, which is three fourths. So K times four thirds, okay, times its reciprocal, three fourths is equal to four times three fourths. And so that cancels out. So we're left with K is equal to three. Now, when I was working this earlier for my calculus class and even grading the test, I made somehow a mistake on the sign. So it's easy to make mistakes. Anyway, that's it. I hope this has been helpful. Good luck and thanks for viewing.